Morning everyone, uh, so welcome back to Dave, we're up at Uroa, I've been away for a few weeks, obviously around at the varying sales and got your Waikato hat on this morning Dave. Yes, uh, fantastic breeders from New Zealand and we were able to buy a really good Savaville colt for Shadwell from their draft so um, hopefully uh, the uh, Waikato polish can come off with him. Let's have a look at our runners uh, on the weekend, let's kick off at the Valley on Friday night in the opening event over a thousand metres for two year olds. We have two runners, the first is Andrasse Avenue, gate 10, Luke Nolan. Um, I think she'll improve a lot from the first run. She drew wide and um, got into a bit of trouble back there. We'll go forward at the valley and with the benefit of that run she'll improve a lot. Uh, we've also accepted with Swan Island for Regan Bayless, who's also dual accepted at uh, Adelaide and Flemington on Saturday. Any decision yet? Uh, no, we haven't. It's Thursday morning today. Uh, we're going to really look at both races um, and consult with uh, James Harron and his team and we'll pick the best option for it. There's a temptation to go for a Metro win or to go for the black type in a much harder race. So either way, uh, she'll run well. Race two, uh, we have Kulasa for Jordan Childs over the 1200 in gate three. Yes, um, first up, track work suggests she's come back better and she's on target for stakes races if she can run well in this. Cross to Adelaide on Saturday in the opening event, we've got uh, the two-year-old uh, debutante, which is By Whisker, who's Catchy's full brother for Jake Toroke. Yes, he's um, trialled very well. Um, he's a big horse that I feel that will be classy over 1,400 and a mile. I'm hoping races like the Champagne are on his, on his radar. Um, it's a pretty hot two-year-old race in Adelaide. Um, if he can be running on strongly, which I expect him to do, um, we'll be very happy. And if he comes over the top, it'll be a bonus. Back to Flemington on Saturday, the opening event over the mile. We've got Pure Scott, Gate 2, Craig Williams. Should get a beautiful run. Um, she's been racing well and very fit. Uh, Ocean Deep from Gate 11 for Regan Bayless before he heads off to Hong Kong. Yeah, another one that is uh, extremely fit and racing well. Uh, just needs a really good ride from Regan from that awkward gate. First run for the stable in race three over the 1200 metres. Chauffeur for Dean Yandel, gate 13. Yeah, carrying big weight, but he came down the outside from a similar gate when he won. We were tempted to run in the uh, Lightning, um, but we decided to go the handicap option. And if he can, he's on trial for a new market run. So hopefully, despite the big weight, he can really run home strongly. Race four is the Talon Dirt Stakes over 1,100 metres uh, for the two-year-olds. Uh, Art Collection, Craig Williams, gate nine. Yeah, her first run down the straight was outstanding. Just got beaten at Bob of the Head. Um, struck a bit of trouble in the prelude the other day and has improved since the run. Uh, I think she's well over the odds. We also have favourite things for Bo Mertens in gate 14. Yeah, she just got beaten at Geelong and ran a really good running on third. Um, she's been set for the Blood Horse Breeders, um, so I think I'd expect a good run here in a very tough race. And we also have Swan Island with a decision yet to be made. Race 5 is the Vanity over 1400 metres, another one making its debut for the stable. Amphitrite, Craig Williams, Gate 1. Um, her trial was outstanding, um, we're very excited to have her. Um, she's the Guineas winner and a very classy filly. Um, um, from the gate, she'll need a little bit of luck from barrier one, but uh, I, I'd be surprised if she didn't run well. And we also have fundamentalist gate six, Michael Walker. Um, she was the runner up to the top weight in the Guineas. Um, I don't think I've ever had it going better, and um, she'll run a really good race. Uh, I'm confident she'll be right in the finish. Race six, the Hong Kong Jockey Club trophy over the mile. Sin to win, gate 12, Fred Kersley. Yeah, probably a bit on the short side. Um, he's been set for longer races later in the year. Um, hopefully, I think he's he tapered off on his form, but he looks like he's come back very well. And we also have Velak from gate 16 for Lockie King. If he drew a gate, I would have really liked his chances. Um, he'll go forward probably and make his own luck and is building up to a win for sure. Race seven, the CS Hayes Stakes over 1400. Mickey Blue Eyes, gate 15, Luke Nolan. 
yeah, another bad gate, we're having a bad day on the gates, but uh, he'll sit back, um, come in good condition, and whatever he does, he'll be improved on. And the second emergency is more Sundays, gate 14, Regan Bayless. Another wide gate. Um, look, if he gets a run, he'd be the stable select. Um, we've got our fingers crossed. Um, he's a classy colt. Final event on the card, first up from a spell over 1400, Seabirds, Mark Zara, gate 8. Yeah, his trials have been excellent. Um, he's had the ultimate gear change, he's gelding, and I think you'll see a, a horse that wins more often and much more consistent. Um, Mark Zara's been very happy with him in his trials. And have you got a best for us on the weekend? Go. I'm going to do an unusual one uh, because until I got uh, Amphitrite, uh, I would have had Fundamentalist as my best, but I've got such respect for her, I'm going to tip the Quinella. I think we'll have a stable Quinella there. They're high class fillies, both been set for the All Star Mile, um, and I'd really expect them to put their hands up this weekend. Thanks, David.